Assalamualaikum and good day to all. We meet again in the second part of um second part of the video for chapter one, unit of measurement. Uh, so in this video, uh, we will learn the unit measurement for volume, uh, mass, density, and temperature. So first, we look into volume. Okay. Volume is a derived unit with dimensions of length uh, to the power of 3. Okay, so when you all tahu lah, belajar kalau nak kira volume, kalau you ada segi 4 tepat, selanjutnya volume bersama dengan panjang, darab lebar, darab tinggi. Okay, betul? So that's why uh, the unit for the volume is cubic meter, which is M3. And, but, okay, the volume units you typically use is liter base. Kenapa pakai liter? Because uh, it is very convenient for measuring the volume of irregularly shaped containers. Alright, so this is some volume equivalence. Okay. Uh, yang ni pun I rasa you kena hafal eh. Familiarkan yourself with all this um, volume equivalence. Okay. 1 meter cube equal to 1000 decimeter cube. 1 decimeter cube equal, equal to 1000 centimeter cube. It also equal to 1 liter equal to 1000 milliliter. 1 centimeter cube equal to 1000 millimeter cube. And it is also equal to 1 milliliter and equal to 1000 microliter. And 1 millimeter cube equal to 1 microliter. Right. So now, uh, exercise. Convert one to one millimeter cube to nanometer cube. Okay. So kat sini you nak uh, tukar eh, daripada meter. Okay. Nampak eh? Meter kepada nano. Okay. Meter cube ni nak remain. So macam biasa. Okay. Uh, one to one millimeter cube. So, kita letaklah millimeter cube kat bawah ni. Okay, 1 millimeter cube. So, milli eh. Milli equal to 1 times 10 to the power of negative 3. Okay. So, disebabkan milli ni uh, millimeter cube. So, milli ni pun kena kuasakan 3 juga. Okay. So, 1 times 10 to the power of negative 3 to the power of 3. Okay. So, bila you buat macam tu. Kita boleh cancelkan millimeter cube ni dengan yang ni. So, tinggal meter cube. So, sekarang meter cube, uh, you nak masukkan uh, unit nano kan. Eh? Alright. So, kita tahu. So, you letak nano ni kat atas. So, kita tahu nano is 1 times 10 to the power of negative 9. Okay. So, kalau nano ni, you akan combine dengan unit meter cube yang ada kuasa 3. So, nano yang kat bawah ni pun kena kuasakan dengan 3. So, 1 times 10 to the power of negative 9. To the power of 3. So, tekan calculator. Alright. So, 1 to 1 times 1 times 10 to the power of negative 9. Divide by 1 times 10 to the power of negative 27. So, you akan dapat 1.21 times 10 to the power of 20. Dan unit sini adalah nanometer cube. So, what you need to adalah nanometer cube. Okay, boleh ya? Okay, actually there are uh, many ways to do the unit conversion. Uh, depends on you lah. But this is my way and how I convert the unit. Uh, to make sure you cari the line sikit. Uh, tapi you boleh, uh, boleh, boleh, boleh pilih hal mana yang bersesuaian dengan, dengan you. You rasa lebih senang faham. Okay. But this is my way. Uh, okay, mass. In the SI, the base unit for mass is the kilogram, kg. However, gram is a more convenient unit for laboratory measurement. Okay, 1 kilogram equal to 1000 gram. Okay, so, get an exercise. Convert 414 picogram to centigram. Okay, so 414 picogram, you nak buang pico, you nak masukkan centi. So, kita tahu uh, pico yang nak buang tak letak kat bawah kan. Sebab so, opposite position, dia bawah dia boleh cancel. And then, uh, nilai pico adalah 1 times 10 to the power negative 2. So, you can sell this pico. And kita nak masukkan senti. So, letak senti ni kat atas. 
So, senti equal to 1 times 10 to the power of negative 2. So, tekan calculator, settle all this uh, calculation, you will get 4.14 times 10 to the power of negative 8 senti gram. Okay, next, density. The density of an object is it mass per unit volume. Okay, density equal to mass over volume. And the SI unit of density is kilogram per cubic meter. And typically, density is units of uh, gram per liter or gram per milliliter. Okay, you kena familiar lah. So, density ni dia macam-macam unit yang yang keluar. So, you can tahu kalau kilogram per meter square, uh, per meter cube density, gram per liter density, gram per decimeter cube density dan seterusnya. So, kita nak exercise eh. A sample of the mineral galena with 12.4 gram and has a volume of 1.64 cm3. What is the density of galena? So density mass or volume mass debris 12.4 gram divided by the volume 1.64 cm3. So you will get 7.56 gram per cm3. Alright. So ni ada sama selesai. You boleh try. So pandai lah 6.6 times 10 to the power of 36 picogram per millimeter cube. Okay. Let's do some exercise. Alright, next. We proceed to temperature. Okay, temperature is a measure of the intensity of heat. The Celsius scale is a temperature scale in general scientific use. But the SI base unit of temperature is Kelvin. So this is the unit conversion. Uh... If you want to convert Kelvin to degree Celsius, you can pakai yang ni eh. So, 1 Kelvin equal to degree Celsius plus 273.15. Okay, let's say you ada uh, uh, suhu bilik. Okay, 25 degree Celsius. Nak tukar kepada Kelvin. So, 25 degree Celsius plus 273.15. So, you dapat lah Kelvin dia. Okay. So, kalau... So, it is around uh, 273.15 Kelvin lah. Okay. And then, uh, kalau degree Fahrenheit, okay. Kalau you nak convert from degree Celsius to degree Fahrenheit, you kena guna formula ni pula. Okay, degree Fahrenheit equal to 1.8 times degree Celsius plus 32. Okay, kita tengok contoh eh. Okay. Right. Conversion from 100 degree Celsius to degree Fahrenheit. So, ni adalah formula dia. So, you ada 100 degree Celsius. So, 1.8 times 100 degree Celsius plus itu. So, jawapannya adalah 212 degree Fahrenheit. Alright. So, you will try, uh, ni pun ada some exercise, convert to T8 degree Fahrenheit to degree Celsius. Guna formula ni, you akan dapat 3.3 degree Celsius. And untuk jawapan ni, okay, you should try, you akan dapat 366.45 Kelvin. Okay. Alright, so that's all for this video, very short videos. Okay, in the next video, we will proceed to the significant figures. And also scientific notation. Alright, so thank you.